Sorry, it was a mistake. I pulled you in. Alice comes to daddy. Leave her alone, you son of a bitch! Now, no one sleeps. No! A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, The Dream Master. I'll go ahead and say that this one is my favorite in the series. You can disagree all you want, but I love this one. This was the first Elm Street movie I saw when I was a kid, and it scared the shit out of me. Especially the one scene where Freddy turns some girl into a cockroach and squishes her inside of a roach motel. I just thought that was fucking disgusting, and I had never seen anything like that before. I was afraid to fall asleep because I thought that Freddy would come into my dreams and do that shit to me. That's how much of an impact it had on me. But anyway, Dream Master picks up where Dream Warriors left off. Freddy is resurrected by dog piss, don't ask, and wipes out the remaining characters from the last movie almost instantly. The last to go is Kristen, who was played by Tuesday Night this time instead of Patricia Arquette, and she does a pretty good job carrying the movie until Freddy takes her out. And when he does, this is when the movie switches gears. And this is what I love about it. Alice, played by Lisa Wilcox, is given Kristen's powers before she dies, which means she can pull people into her dreams, which Freddy uses to his advantage to get some new souls. But for every soul that Freddy gets, Alice inherits their power. I love how at the start of this movie, she's very quiet, shy, and timid. And with each kill, she becomes more powerful and outgoing and just a plain badass. And eventually, at the end, it leads to a final battle between Alice and Freddy. You can tell that this film was when the series was at its peak, and this was the highest grossing movie in the franchise until Freddy vs. Jason. And of course, Robert England, who was finally top billed in this movie, played Freddy so well yet again. He is more humorous than he was in part three, and maybe it's not as scary, but he is very menacing, and I think that's what makes his one-liners work in this one. So like I said before, I know a lot of fans would choose Dream Warriors over Dream Master, and I love that one a lot too, but something about this one just gets better every time I watch it. It can be cheesy at times, but I think that's what adds to its charm. So I say, check it out. Wanna suck the face? No. <laughs> Get away from me! 